This is Phi, 21.059. And today's log is a special message to my friends at System76. I just heard from them, and they have a call for innovators out. And it's really made me feel that uh, it's time to reconnect. Uh, it is hard to believe that it's been over a year now since our mission to Thalio. Can you imagine that? And uh, I'll bring up some memories here while we're talking about it. What an extraordinary experience. One of the finest experiences that I've ever had in my life. Uh, you folks are so creative and capable uh, and generous. Um, and you left me with memories uh, that you know I'll never forget. And your generosity has left me with a Thaleo computational device, which I will also never forget. It has radically changed my existence. And um, one of the hardest things that I've had to do uh, was come back home without that device and have to wait. But I'll tell you, as soon as I got back here to the outpost at the edge of the universe, I um, turned on the edge scanners and began surveying the edge out here at the outpost, looking for any sign of the cargo ship to come with the Thalio device. But the wait gave me a little bit of an opportunity to really consider what this was going to mean for me. I had been operating Pop! OS uh, in a virtual machine entirely uh, prior to this, and uh, this was going to mean running directly on the hardware. And I also thought it was an opportunity to really kind of double down on a commitment to creating a, a fully functional system driven by the command line. Well, eventually that ship did come in. You probably recognize it. And uh, it was such a historic day that we thought we'd come and consecrate this amazing machine and bring it right out to the edge. Uh, one of the scariest things I've ever done in my life, actually. Uh, but what a dramatic moment, uh, for sure. Uh, because this was such a new beginning. It was such an incredible time uh, to uh, begin to rethink how I could reshape my research, reshape my content development, and all of that. Uh, and so what you're looking at right now, uh, this, this environment is this machine running Pop! OS. I call it the Photon Platform. And it is the full set of configurations for everything that's necessary for me to do my research. Uh, and there's been a lot of it. You know, I, I feel like uh, I've got um, I've got so much to share, so much to talk about. It's almost debilitating, you know, at times to try to figure out where to start. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that today's video is just uh, a little reconnect, uh, a chance to give you a, a quick overview on... Uh, what I've been up to, and uh, little by little to uh, you know, create additional content uh, and logs around the actual operations of this platform and the kinds of things that I'm doing with it. From writing to writing code to creating graphics, uh, videos, um, you know, in fact, the, even this logging that I'm doing right now is all driven through the command line and uh, really trying to back out of having to use complex tools for operations that can be really, you know, summarized quite nicely in a simple script. So uh, let me just take a quick run down here. Uh, I want to show you some of the websites. So I've got my, my firearchitect.com uh, site. I uh, do recommend that you, you visit that and uh, it'll, be, it'll be the umbrella for uh, the things that I am um, endeavoring in, uh, in, including the Geometor project and the Photon platform itself, the documentation of that. And, um, you know, and then the Geometor project, uh, beginning to organize all of this content into um, you know, numerous sets of pages. Uh, and this includes many of the models and animations that I've been uh, working on. In fact, uh, I think I've got one of my animations here. So starting to make these interactive so we can begin to look at various relationships within the golden ratio. I'm not going to get into big discussion about that today, but it's coming. And um, you know, looking forward to sharing more of that with you guys uh, over time. And um, 
Let's see. So we've got uh, also my Euclid project. So out of the research for uh, constructive geometry and looking into the golden ratio, it's led me to Euclid, a 2,400-year-old uh, document. And um, it's really kind of amazing how much Euclid knew about the golden ratio. And that was one of the things that really drew me into this investigation. So working on a, creating a, a publishable version of Euclid's elements, and I really want to kind of recast it into a uh, modern day uh, approach. Uh, this uh, current translation is from the Heath translation from um, the early 1900s. And uh, the drawings are from another translation as well. But uh, as I look at this, I see code. And I really want to uh, try to encapsulate this uh, as much as possible uh, into kind of a cohesive set of instructions, hierarchical set of instructions that um, you know can be studied, analyzed, uh, and such. Uh, I have also have my uh, Geometor Fundamentals, which uh, are based on the notebooks of a good friend of mine, uh, Fred Selig, um, who for years was uh, compiling various geometric um, uh, properties uh, into various studies. And I've got spreadsheets and other things to, to follow through on. they are really looking forward to doing a lot of work on that. And then, of course, the Photon Platform itself at photonplatform.net and, um, you know, and all the projects that are going on there. So this is just a, a quick overview for you guys to kind of maybe entice you a little bit uh just to come back up let's take a look here if i go to sites we can see all the different sites that i've just mentioned here uh and you know again all command line driven driving from vim as well uh so i got rid of my uh big monolithic uh, text editor and boy i would never look back on that it's really been tremendous so I think that's it for part one. Next in part two, I'm going to uh, start talking about the, the work that I've been doing in the Golden Ratio, showing you a bit more of that work uh, and how it's fitting into uh, this project and diving deeper into the elements of uh, the Photon platform itself. So uh, if, we, if you go to YouTube, I have a Fire Architect channel there. That's where this will be posted. And uh, I am creating trying to create regular log entries uh, in that section uh, so uh, so I can share more and more information and be more granular about that and more you know item specific about the content you know, um, and creating smaller chunks of content over time so I hope you'll stay tuned for that I'm really looking forward to catching up with you guys Carl I want to talk to you about keyboards and Douglas Engelbart uh, Jeremy I want to talk to you about redox uh, it, Kate, I want to talk to you about design and, uh, and all of that. I mean, I, and everyone else over there. Love you guys. Uh, miss you. And uh, I hope that we can find an opportunity to be face-to-face -face once again and maybe have a new mission. Maybe a mission around Geometor. Wouldn't that be fun? Again, thank you so much, uh, my friends, for everything that you're doing, uh, creating a stellar platform for innovation and research and I can't thank you enough. And I really look forward to reconnecting again. This is Phi. Out. <laughs>